Good people, Pastor Jamal here, Rising Ground Church. Just wanted to stop in here real quick. This is not Friday. Um, I am naming the Friday deal Spontaneous Fridays, but this is a spontaneous moment. I'm trying to hurry up before my wife come back. Anyway, how do you learn the scriptures? Uh, we're told all the time, learn the scriptures. You have to be disciplined and you got to know the scripture, know the word, seek God, seek God, learn God, learn the scriptures. And sometimes that builds an image in our minds that um, it's hard to shake loose if God is, tr is trying to steer you in a different type of direction. But how do you truly learn the scripture, learn God? The only way to learn God is to allow God is to allow God, allow God in, in all ways. Now, what does that mean, allow God in? We have moments where we get boxed in to an understanding. We get boxed in to an idea. We get boxed in to a, to a teaching, to a method. And anytime that we um, are boxed in to anything or chained or shackled to anything, we have to get loose because that restricts us, right? It restricts you when you're tied down to something. So when you allow God in, then you allow God to untie you to what you're tied to so he can give you deeper revelation. And don't be fooled. You can read scripture and read and read and read and find yourself loving and liking um, these things, these ideas uh, that are coming to the point that now you, she's coming y'all, so I'm just going to have to say this. She, now that you're boxed in and you're tied in to um, what you just learned and God has to some way find his way in uh, to, to you unlearning what you unlearned or just simply surrendering, surrendering what you learned so you can allow more of God in. Think about it. God is consciousness. We are in essence well, the subconscious, and I don't want to go here, but I am. The, the, uh, the subconscious is only valuable to us in the human form. So what does that mean? That means that when you practice riding a bike, uh, you get it, you, you learn it, it becomes deposited into your subconscious and you don't have to learn it again. That's why it's valuable. But to God, God doesn't need a subconscious. God is um, all subjective consciousness. So um, he ha it's a lot of God that we have to... Uh, uh, that, that has to be deposited into into these human flesh boxes. So in order to get more of God, we have to release something old to get something new. Man, I hope that made sense. So when you when you're when you're wanting to know how do I learn God? How do I learn more of the scripture? You have to allow God in. You have to allow God to give you more and more knowledge or revelation according to what you allow yourself to let go of. Hope that makes sense, y'all. I'm out. Bye.